Danny's friends with the projectionist at a movie theater played sadly enough by Art Carney from The Honeymooners. The new Jack Slater opens this weekend at the Odyssey. They killed second cousin. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 I can't believe this is my last performance. So being such a good friend, Carney offers him an advanced screening of the next Jack Slater movie, as long as he finally starts going back to school, which he's been skipping out on quite often. So, after that pointlessly disturbing detour, Danny heads to the movie theater where Carney is waiting. Is the print ready to roll? Oh, just a minute, young man. Aren't we forgetting something? So he finds the ticket and gets him back into the movie, where the doctors fix him up so he can go back to duty. The kid has had an amazing adventure, he reunites with the Art Carney character, and they all live happily ever after. That wasn't Art Carney, a last action hero! Now some of you might not even know what I'm talking about here. First of all, he was in Last Action Hero, wasn't he? He's the guy that dies right before he gets blown up. A little redundant, but whatever. Well, that's not what I said when I first did the review. Somehow I got it mixed up and thought that the actor who played the theater custodian was R. Carney and that this other guy was someone else, when in fact the actor's real name was Robert Prowski. And of course, this is the guy R. Carney played. Now, I actually caught this mistake fairly early on and actually switched the names around before I sent it out to be posted. But the switchings of the name was pretty obvious. Danny is friends with the projectionist at a movie theater played by Robert Prosky. Prosky offers him an advanced screening. Danny heads to the movie theater where Prosky is waiting. The kid has had an amazing adventure. He reunites with the Prosky character. Well, luckily, I'll never do something like that again. I mean, I'm never going to mistake Robert Prosky for someone like Art Carney. Ever again. But wait a minute! I was the first person to see that review because I waited till 3 a.m. to watch it, and I heard you say our carney! Suck. It. Actually, he's right. Because for a whole entire day, the wrong version was out. So thousands of people constantly heard me call the wrong guy our carney over and over and over. But in all honesty, this wasn't my fault. I sent the corrected version in, but the person who was posting videos at the time accidentally posted the wrong one. And the person who posted that review was Mike Ellis. Now, Mike Ellis has done a lot for the site. He's a lot behind the scenes stuff and technical stuff, but nevertheless, he made a mistake. So, do you have anything to say, Mike? I certainly do. I was new to putting videos up, and you can't blame me for making a mistake every once in a while. So, for what it's worth, I do apologize. There now, you see, there's no problem too big that can't be solved by a humble apology. Unfortunately, that apology wasn't good enough. No, apologize again! I'm sorry! Apologize again! I'm sorry! Water under the bridge. A mistake that didn't last long, but certainly left a long impression. <laughs> oh.